All right, folks. Breezy Invitational, February 8th. Bad, bad afternoon to be a Corona Premier. You know it. I know it. Corona Premier knows it. We will see you in Phoenix, Arizona. Where else would you rather be? Where else would we rather be than the Breezy Invitational brought to you by our good friends over at Corona Premier. Be ready to clang them and bang them and let it all fly. Breezy Invitational, Corona Premier. We'll see you there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, do another edition. This is the Bob Does Sports Podcast. Joey D, I... Um, I do love the shirt. I mean, I don't think you can look at the shirt and not wow. love the shirt. Um, ben Yaman, how are you today there, Jet? No, no compliments on the shirts there. <laughs> this is this is the coolest, not coolest, this is the most interesting setup we've done so far for the uh, yeah, for the pod, really I think. Like blew everybody's mind. Yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. We're on, we're on a ping pong table. No problem for ticket. Ain't no issue for ticket. Oh. Yeah. Um, Pool table, no chance. I'll start off by saying one thing, I because I saw it in my bag. And I don't even think we really talked about it. I mean, you didn't really have to worry. I'm actually pissed at how many golf balls I lost this trip. Like, I'm actually annoyed about it. A lot. It. A lot. I, how about me, man? By the way, I did supply. We did a thing with Jet and Ticket today. I, I supplied all the... I got no golf balls. There's a reason I wasn't going to my bag. Because he's a big golf ball supplier on the course. season for giving, and mm-hmm. I gave a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. how many balls do you keep in your bag at one time? Well, we got 12 from Corona, those Pro V1s. So I had that, and then I had some Encore balls. I took that were but it, 36 me. golf balls. I used those <laughs> to give to Jet and I take took it. 36. <laughs> it can be iffy. It can be iffy asking for golf balls, like on the course. You mm. know what I mean? Like, even if you're playing with your friends, if you bring, you know, a dozen or two dozen, you run out. Not that you're running out of two dozen. FP. That's a bad look. But by the way, the first time I played Moore Park, I ran out of, I think, four dozen. We only and then, and then it's, but Cutsy's a guy you can always turn to and be like, I need a ball, Cutsy. Yeah. And, he'll, and he'll hand you a nice one. Yeah, well, I know. Now, the way he'll toss it too, he'll just take it out of the yeah, bag, and yeah. he like tosses it. To yeah. the, he's yeah. like, he's I like, was, he's I mean, we used to supply huh. Bob for years, so it's, it was, and nothing is said. It's just like it's an understanding. It's yeah. like I give a ball, take a you. ball. You can't. I mean, you, you can't be in a position where you run out of your own golf. Well, I n- no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. When we <laughs> no, do the I matches, I didn't your, have your any. Where I, yeah, okay. I right. understand. You were as long as that's you were subbing in. You needed to borrow a ball. I get. I need clubs too. Yeah, but like when you're with your friends and you go to the pro shop and you just don't have enough balls to get you to through the whole like to the yeah that's not like it's not acceptable to look around and be like hey i need to borrow no, some balls that's of course but i'm just saying yeah, when that i'm just saying i'm just saying that i think for a for a player like there, yourself it, it it isn't an issue but i think it is an issue and not i'm not saying it's uncommon but i think sure. it happens a lot with like just people are just going to fuck around and then yeah. the next thing you know you have no balls left you want yeah. to talk about a guy who's not used to losing golf balls you look at fat perez yeah. we played a scramble today and i guess they left one of the balls in the middle of the fairway we were on the next hole. He turned around, drove all the way back no ball to the behind. middle of the previous hole fairway to get the ball to come back. He was first on the tee. We had to wait for him. For yeah, five and then minutes. the next That's hole, we actually we had we had <laughs> we had two shots that I said, "Oh fuck it, like let's just keep driving." And you found both of those shots, and yeah. we ended up needing both of those shots. Yeah. To where I was just like, "Screw it," which is by the way not the way to go about it. I Six love four. I love when golfers will just to, like on tour. When they play a bad hole, or whatever, they take the ball and just just yeah. toss it into the water. Yeah. I love it. Really? Yeah. They they you've never seen that? No. Or a tour player at the end of a hole would be like, oh, fuck this," and just launch yeah. it into the water or just launch it somewhere and just be like, "Have you guys done with that?" Ever like, I don't know if I'm the only one who do this and uh, does this because I'm sick. But when I used to play with my friends, if I was not having a good round. To me, like one of the challenges was trying to get through a whole round with the same ball. It was like I could still have a terrible score, but I was like, I only I played with one ball the whole round. It was like kind of like a small oh, yeah. triumphant victory because it happens so rarely. <laughs> some, would, some would prefer it over a good scorecard. <laughs> Keep it one the whole way through. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what, though. Um, been a damn good week. We had the Breezy Invitational, which I mean, I definitely want to want to touch on that. Um I thought, well, I'll let you guys go. I thought that was an... I mean, I still do not have my voice. Six days uh-huh. later, when was the tournament? Friday. Friday yeah. Still don't. We were all just so roughed Banged up, up after it. But my God, was that fun. Nah, I mean, that 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 <laughs> went... that like We were really excited for it and thought it was going to be awesome, but we obviously had never done it before. 
So we didn't know, really know what to expect as far as like the flow of the day, kind of like how the the vibe would be, I guess, any sort of hiccups, anything we kind of, you know, overlooked, you know, stuff like that. And I mean, start to finish from the moment we showed up on property, people started rolling in, you know, through the range time, you know, just it, it was unbelievably fun. Like start to finish, uh, you know, it, 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 it seemed like everyone was having a good time. People were meeting people. Everyone was getting, you know, getting have, you know, getting some drinks, having, having fun. And I mean, it, it, it went way better than I ever thought it could have. And I'm really stoked, you know, for, you know, the future ones of these. I, I thought it was unreal. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was with, with um, you guys most of the time because you guys were kind of close to each other in the holes. It was just like a party. There was like a DJ by us. There was, there was um, just music. Everybody's just drinking, having a good time. And then besides that, even the S, the other stuff like the the parties, the after party, like we we had a, like a cabana at the SLS. Um, it was a lot of fun. And also Saturday night, I bumped directly into Fifty Cent. Um, <laughs> can I tell you? Can I tell you the story? If you, play, if you play in Breeze so, Invitation, we can't guarantee this experience. <laughs> yeah, 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 but it happened. Um, we were leaving. We sat. So Saturday, we were just there all day, and we were all dead by five six p.m. Yes. We were all exhausted. So, but we were coming back. So I was going to leave. Take a nice little break and then mm -hmm. and then come back. And the whole day they kept saying like fifty cents coming, fifty cents coming, fifty cents coming. And I, I didn't believe it. So I I was just leaving. I was like, I went downstairs, we left, and as I'm walking out, you know that little gate that everybody came in through? So all this like crew this like line of people is just walking straight, straight towards me. And this security guard, he comes up to me and he goes, he's like, stand off to the side. But he said it so nonchalantly that like I thought he was joking. Like, you stand off to the side. I could see kind of, No, no I didn't say it. <laughs> you. I didn't say it. He, he, he's, he's, just, he's like, yeah, stand here. Yeah. So, I, so I waited and like, I, I waited for a second and stood to the side because I thought, I don't know what was happening. And then I was like, okay, like that was like nothing happened. So I just kept walking and I took two steps and I bumped directly into 50 Cent. That's quite like, like I we wish I bumped, just had it. We bumped into each other and he like looked at me and then he just kept moving. They were so, it was like the biggest entourage, but they were moving in such silence that you wouldn't know. They just kept it moving and nobody knew who it was. And I'll tell you, 50 Cent this is going to sound ridiculous. He looks exactly like he does. Like it's sometimes when you see people on TV, I know what you're saying. I told you this. Sometimes when you see people on TV and you see them in real life, like they don't like, you see it's the not the same. Wounds? It was the, ex like it was 50 Cent. I was like, oh damn, like it's incredible how that works. You look exactly like 50 Cent. I, it and he wasn't just, a wax figurine. He looked it was at me, the real thing. He looked at me and he just kept it moving. And then he turned back and he's like, was that the jet? And then uh, I was like, kept I it wish we had even just like a video and I could just stop it at oh. the moment that 50 and jet bumped and just we had bumped. Them, like, and back locked to eyes. Back. It would be like, I would blow that photo up. I would feel like a it. UFC card where they're, they're facing <laughs> yeah, face to face. You you know? Know? Jet. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 50. Yeah. And, and 50 back Not down. even 50. 50. Yeah. 50, 50, 50 in round Yaman one is what that 50. would be. Uh -huh. TKO. <laughs> yeah. 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 Back down. I'll tell you, I um. so we kind of had like that whole area blocked off after the Breezy Invitational for people to come by. I've been to those SLS pool parties when I was living <laughs> in Miami. Not a ton of them, but I, I've been to them and it's, it's a lot of fun. To go down there and to see the entire party, not the entire party, but pretty damn close, wearing your merchandise yes. and having our hats and having all our different that that was really it's really, really smart cool. how they did it too they put it on all the cabanas so there's like <laughs> actually people who weren't there for us who just saw the hats and started like girls were wearing totally. them and stuff remember i think scott had a picture of like there's like people coming back on the plane wearing have a day hats and they and had like no idea the girls were Why? and i think they had no clue but it was very smart on the team great part. i think it was really well it was done. cool to see and that cabana that we had was just terrific just spectacular watching the football game there but at one point i like looked about around and i was like man like these people this is this is for us which is yeah. just not real life it's kind of like that whole surreal thing just kicked in again, but also everybody was super nice. Yeah, yes. everybody yes. that came, forget the at, at the actual golf tournament. Sure. Everybody sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get, and they're like a couple, you know, whatever sure. people. There, every single person was so nice and was just. It was very like the vibes were just super high, super nice. That hour after, I guess breakfast between, yeah. like just the like there was just like an hour. Everybody was just like hanging, like tossing, like. Like bean bags, it was just like it was such a great time. Good it was box. really 
put together very well. Yeah, and also too, like even like when every or when the eighteen was done, like obviously everybody was drinking a lot. There were so many different stations where you could drink. So obviously everybody was hammered after we were all hammered. Yeah. Um. After even with people being drunk, there was nobody that was like obnoxious no, or nobody. No. Right. And it really, and I'm not just saying it. Like it's a testament to our fans that like. I mean, we see it just from the comments how cool our fans are. Just sure. in the comments, they say like it's just funny shit that they say, and like to meet them, it's a to see how much fun they were having was cool, and then b I mean, it just shows like everybody. You're right. Everybody was so cool. it was fun. It was like yeah. one big party. It's cool to see too some of the people that have been supporting us for years. Like I remember there was a guy wearing Bob our original Not Today Baba hat, yeah, yeah bucket crazy. hat, which was like so terribly put oh, together awful. we did it like the first ever merch drop it was so bad awful. but he was wearing that and then there's like just people like moriarty and these guys and gallo and these guys who we've Frankie known who DeLuca. Like, yeah delucas these guys who have like supported us for years when we were still small and then like connecting with them and meeting them and meeting their friends and stuff it was like a community it was really really cool to see like just everybody kind of just put time in their schedule to like fly across the country. That was the other thing too. Yeah. I was thinking maybe it was gonna be majority people from like Florida or Miami. There was people from, true. my so boys from friends. Vegas flew out from Vegas. There were guys from Scottsdale, Seattle, like literally all over the country. A lot of guys from San Boston, a lot of Boston guys too. But to see that people like made a trip to come down to put us in their, you know, in their schedules and stuff, man, it was so cool. And everybody was just so tight. And Jet, you had a good time. Joe was hammered. The last night, the Saturday, we got working. back. I was so exhausted, and I was like, "I got nothing left." And Jet's like, "No, we got to go to an after party." I was like, "Wait, wait, what?" It was like the roles were <laughs> he let, reversed. Yeah, he let he it convinced right, yeah. Perez to go down with him. That yeah, wasn't a hard sell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Perez and I were like, "Yeah, we're not going." And then Jet's like, "No, I'm going with Perez. We're it, going to the after party." It was like a three. It was like you had to commit to like a. Th Three day like bender. rager, like yeah, a bender. Yeah. It was a bender, and you it was, did a good job. And they up. all, they everything was set up so well. And since it's like we were in one spot, everybody's just like having a great time. Drinks were everywhere. Yeah, everybody's just kind of like mingling. It, it was just I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. Even out there, like on the course where technically we were filming and we were working, but like no, like we were just having a good time. Yeah, and uh, I think everybody had a great time. Yeah, that was one of the cooler things for me because obviously it's not cheap. Like people are flying down, like you said, Joe, to see how much fun the fans were having i mean we were having ourselves a ball but to see how much fun the fans were having and then we talked about it and i think there will definitely be more coming i will sincerely look forward to the future ones yeah. that we Scott's do deal. yeah and you know for us too which we got to be thankful for is the bob the sports team set something up so set stuff up so great like yeah I mean, you guys, of course, were setting up the podcast and everything, but, like, we didn't have to do a crazy amount of work as far as once we, like, just getting there the day before, maybe a little bit, but um, we were just able to go out and just have a good time with the fans and whatnot. Noah know? did a great it job. Was, yeah, yeah. The, the team that um, that uh, that our guys all worked with and set up and everything, it was great. I mean, they made us look unbelievable. You know, we kind of just rolled in there and sort of got the rundown, the schedule, but we didn't. You know, we didn't have any heavy lift or really any lift at all. It was just like, go out there and have fun. This is what we're doing. This is when we're doing it then. You know, do this, do over here. And I mean, it felt like it felt like I was just hanging out with everybody that yeah. was playing in it pretty much from the moment they got there until like the end. I mean, we, we hung around for, you know, 30, 45 minutes after the award ceremony, just shooting the shit with people and having drinks and. Basically, that was we, we, I mean, we only left because I think they stopped serving <laughs> serving beer. That, the I mean, that yeah. might have been the only reason I, we left. We had no Kick desire to we leave. We might still have like, been there. We, yeah, we were tired at the end, but it's not like we had any really desire to yeah. leave. We kind of just wanted to blast. And Prez actually said to me at first when we called the number, the winners, the four guys who won, when we said their number, at first everyone's like, oh, I don't think they actually got that. Then Perez was like, no, I actually think they did. And I remembered when I saw them seeing them on the range yeah. after you said that. And it's like, yeah, I actually think they really, because we wanted it to be competitive and we do want people to sure. really try and win it. When you said that, I thought about it. I said, seeing those guys at the range, it actually doesn't surprise me. No, I don't think, we didn't like, you know, the course wasn't playing crazy long. I mean, we, you know, it was. I think the great thing about it was like it was supposed to be a good time for everyone. It was supposed to be kind of an event with us that had a golf component. It, it wasn't, you know, the golf itself. Once we got to that point, once we got a few hours in and the golf actually started, 
I don't think anyone was there to like be super serious. No one was like grinding on the range and not talking to anybody. Like whatever. Like go out there and have a good time. And you know, those guys are just pretty good and set it up pretty easy. And you know, well, I, I think, think they just you make putts and you know the guy, the team who won it too. The one guy on their team won like closest to the pin and longest drive. Yeah, yeah. and was apparently not even the best guy in his group. So, there so you go. I mean, that's got to be somewhat resemblant of sticks. We yeah. posted we posted a picture of them on our story, and every comment was like, "No, no, like there's no chance, like this score." Because we wrote the score like, "No chance, no chance." Then one guy commented, "He's like, listen, I'd say no chance, but the uh, their tan line from their feet to their yeah. hit to their legs, yeah. he was like, shows that they play a ton of golf." Right. He's like, "I believe it." And I was like, "You know what? He's probably right." Yeah. There's the, actually a lot of truth. The yeah, the sock team. He said the sock away. those sock tan sock lines. He's like, "Those guys definitely play a lot of golf." They're probably pretty good. And yeah. the belts that we gave out were sick. It's awesome. Yeah. Those were really good I also good made touch. a promise, too, that now I'm, I'm definitely oh, going to have to duh. keep. And you said it, like that's, that might be a check that you can't cash on the podcast before. I said, you know what? The winners, because we did the podcast before we did the live pod. I said the winners should have immunity going into the next tournament. The next one, yeah. Which, you know what? To be quite frank... So be, it, it is the way that it should the be. Only thing I think it's is great. You 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 put that out there, and then all of a sudden the fraudulent scores could start creeping in. Could if be. you're promising four free entries to Scottsdale or the next tournament, I mean, I don't know. I think everybody, for the most part, was very honest with their score. The first tournament we went in was in L.A. when we did the tournament at, at the Trump National there in Palos Verdes, and we took it so it. seriously. <laughs> Bob made, like, an eagle putt off the green like he chipped so in. We were playing really good. We thought we and had, we a had shot. like we were, like, 13 or 14 under. Yeah. Or, like, I think we finished around there. Like, we, we were paired with, like, a, a LPGA, ch- or she was, like, close to having her card. And then another guy who was, like, um, the track man, associate. Anyways, they are both good golfers. And we, we were putting together some good rounds, and we were, Bob was going nuts. He's like, we got a shot. We were like 15, 14 under, yeah. 15 under. I think like the winners were like 22 under. We're like, and they looked like they had never shot a golf ball in their life. And we're like, what are we doing here? It was so dejecting. So for us, we made a point of saying like early on in the tournament, like, please just make sure you be honest with your scores because there's guys who are going out there and taking this seriously. If you if you screw around, it's just, it's not fair for anybody. Yeah, I think, um, I think we all did a good job too of letting people know that we really do want it to be be competitive. Like as much fun as it was, it makes it so much better when it is competitive. And there, I felt like there was though there was competitive juices as well as it being a, a blast. I mean, what do I know? I was drunk yeah. by the fourth hole, but <laughs> you know there was competitive juices yeah. flowing. I almost kind of saw an Oxford Mississippi jet, and like I really appreciated yeah. it. This, this is jet better than Oxford. This yeah, is the jet best. was getting yeah, out. Oxford, was going Oxford, for it. It was great. Oxford, Mississippi will always, I think, for me and you, have a special place because it was the first, you know, it was the first rager. But um, no, the breezy invitational, and I, I am looking forward to the next one. To all that, it's something to like really look forward to because it's just a blast. It was, it was, a, it was a great time. In all honesty, because I, I honestly don't think that I have ever since we went to Ole Miss, have you bet against Ole Miss ever since No, that? and I, I'll root I for them every, every time. time. Me too. And like, they just, it's all, come to the sip, you know? Come like, to the sip. Yeah. It's all about the sip. <laughs> I, I, it's all about the sip. It's about the library. It's about that hotel mm-hmm. that I don't remember the Isn't name. It's about the eggs in the morning. It's, it's just about, it's, it's just about, about, about the Grove. It's, it's about the Grove. It's about the Grove. Yeah. Ole Miss, it, I, it's a way of life. I remember, man. I was eating grits. I don't even like grits, grits, but I was just eating grits out of respect. It was game day, and like yeah. we were with these like old school Mississippi fans. It was in like a convenience store where we had the breakfast. Best kind of I've grits. told everyone oh, was, I know it was crazy. Not not even about the grits, but like I, I was always a college <laughs> a college football. Like I always liked college football. I never like was a part of that am- like um, part of like atmosphere. college football atmosphere or whatever. Ole Miss, I, I tell it like I'm. I wonder if it can be topped. I don't think it can, but it's like I. I don't think you should go through life without experiencing a Saturday day at the Grove. I agree. Yeah. And but have pro- you been to many many campuses to watch games before? No, I'm I've saying been- I have not. But but everybody was saying that like it'll never get better. Everybody was like messaging and like yeah, it'll never get better than this. Like, yeah, and even people I think yeah. outside of of Ole Miss would even like mention to people that I've talked to that yeah. have been there. Um, Especially because it was we went to a night game, so normally the games, college football games, oh, started yeah, like eleven a.m. So true. you go at nine a.m. and you're there for two hours. 
we went to like a big game. It was a night game. So the Grove was full from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whoa. And it was just, it was crazy. Also, too, me and the Jet had a, uh, it was like a closed curtain dinner with um, Matt James and Tyler Cameron. The night the before. Table. We had no, we had I, mean, no, we I had no, you did. I had no business being there <laughs> at all. You must like, have hated all the people. No, no, it was great. I like I liked those guys and they were cool. And like we, but, but it was weird because it was like the third video for Bob the Sports and Bob's like, yeah, we're going to dinner with Tyler Cameron and Matt James tonight. And we're just like, and it was a close, like people were like knocking down the, the curtain, the curtain to, to like them. come it was, in. It was, yeah. Did you say you're trying to get to the car and people were like, just swore the girls were yeah. swarming? Yeah, I had to wait to come out because there was just a swarm of what happened after. They might yeah. have thought after dinner, was coming well, out. That was the van they had to sneak <laughs> yeah. us in. But after dinner, we went out to the to the bar with Tyler. And I'm telling you, this guy is like, a, he's like a god yeah. there. And we're so used to, we have such a male dominant audience. When we went to that bar and looking out and there's just, I have a video of it still, a swarm of... Yeah. Of girls just taking pictures. It was it was absolutely bananas. They left the place. First of all, it took them an hour to leave after dinner because people just kept coming up to them. And then they're like, we're going here. And like, I, I had no interest in going. And then they're like, we're like, you know what? I just want to see what we this looks like. Like, I just want to see. So we followed them in. They just like brought us in as if we were like them. And we just, <laughs> well, like, I just followed them for like five minutes. I was like, all right, this I see how you this are life him, is. Jet. I was like, this is a life that uh, looks pretty fun. And then I uh, There's went to also a, a rumor go around that they, they did cancel it. I don't know if that's the reason they cancel, canceled it. There's a, the tent run the, the night before the game. All the frats line up mm -hmm. and they, they'll blow a horn and they line up and they have their tents and they go to set up their tents outside. The like the stadium to get it all set up so we had it's like old miss tradition we had to to go do the 10 run even though we were having a ball where we were at the bar with minder we didn't want to leave yeah yeah yeah. but we're like all right we have to do it so we went over to go do it and the frats are all lined up and we had like a frat that kind of took us under you know their wing to like show us around and right out of the gate they blow the horn next thing you know i said you know keep your head on a swivel jet keep your head on a swivel there's people running and i go jet jet we turn there's people, two frats, just throwing fists at each other. Fighting? Video. Yeah. Throw, we almost, we felt bad for the kid. Wow. We didn't, not bad enough to step in. No. Mm. <laughs> but, but this World kid, star. Yeah. This kid's just yeah. getting mauled. And then supposedly they Over canceled what? the tent run because of it. The, to, to try and get, you get your, your tent, tent in the grove. That is the it's most bananas. ridiculous hey, thing hey, I've ever hey. heard. Welcome to the set. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly. Yeah. It's tradition, dude. Yeah. Is it crazy to like look back? That wasn't that long ago. It feels like ten years ago. Yeah, I mean, it was like, because if you think about it, it was probably like September, or October of like twenty twenty one. Bo Wallace was cubing Ole Miss. Yeah, yeah, it would have been because <laughs> like yeah. it was not long before. <laughs> player. I think the first video we did was in like November of twenty twenty one, which was like a yeah. year, little over a year ago. It had to, to be see like. like where Bob to sports was then as opposed to now. Like, that's why you can never take the Micromania video down. Never. That's oh. just how far I go. By the way, not I to watch it. I watch it every couple weeks. Do you nah, really? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I was, I was, I was, joking. By the way, I was I'm, wondering I'm why the view comes up. I was wondering why yeah, it goes up one every two up. weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way, <laughs> can we talk about, <laughs> not to change the subject, but can we, and I don't want to give away anything about yesterday, the match with Keegan, but we can talk about it like yeah I'm just, but i'll just say this and this is not gonna, like fat perez is a gamer oh like God. he just he just he's a gamer <laughs> like i don't know you can like it, it's unbelievable every time there's a big match he just he shows up yes i mean he shows up almost always regardless no, i know but but, but i do know, feel I, like I, these I, big I, matches I, he's just carried us now twice Yes, and we're on not both gonna, the big matches. Yeah, and we're not going to give anything away, but yeah, that was. I think that was the best, and this is a bold statement. I said in the pool yesterday. I think it was the best Fat Perez performance I've ever seen. More and than Max, he, as good as he was with Max, yes, and it was a good match with, the whole way. Keegan was awesome. Like yeah. the Keegan, banter and from Scott the whole, was great. The banter from the Keegan, first hole was was awesome. Yeah, I had the, good. Uh, I had the cart with Keegan, and it was like after the third hole. He turns to me and I, I like, well, you got to clip it because I'm just going to love this for a long time. Keegan turns to me. He's like, can I say something that I hope doesn't offend anybody? And I'm like, I'm like, what? you know, Keegan's like the nicest guy. I'm like, what's he going to say? Yeah, he's super nice. He turns guy. and he's like, I am frightened of the jet. And I just started. <laughs> and I made sure the camera was recording for that. It was absolutely exceptional. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you, you know, play the narrative. You know what I mean? Oh, it's, but you love it. No, you no. Oh, he, be he, afraid should, of you. he should be scared. No, he, um, <laughs> he should. But also that whatever, that's that's fine. I, I should say I'm I'm the biggest Keegan Bradley fan and I've been watching him 
since he won the PGA, I remember I was a kid and I saw him won the PGA and he was just cool. Like when he won it, and yeah. I was like, all right, I like, I like he this rocks guy. Jays. So I've been, yeah, yeah he, hey, he wears on. Jordans. Yes. Like, so Three I've been pairs. watching, I've been watching him ever since. And that's why when he started following and he was a big supporter at the beginning, it was super cool. Cause like, I was always a huge fan of him and now I terrify him. And I think that, <laughs> you know, like a full <laughs> circle yeah, it's nice. of, oh, yeah. of life. He gave you yeah. two pairs of Jordans. Yeah, that was that was that he was. He asked us beforehand if any of us were size twelve. Me and Jared are size twelve. So we I are. took one pair and Jack got two pairs. I guess because he's sponsored by Jordan, he gets all these yeah, kicks. Yeah, I heard but if by you're the way, sponsored, those were fresh kicks that he gave. I heard if you're sponsored by Jordan, like I think I I don't know who it is. I think it's Denny Hamlin. Mm -hmm. He said it on, on a podcast. He said they when the they pod, make yeah I asked him uh, for NASCAR like if they'll ever if he ever sees the days where they'll use like a Tesla car and he didn't like it <laughs> yeah he yeah. hasn't yeah he hasn't been back <laughs> since he, yeah he was not happy he's, but um, he um he's yeah. pride of Richmond Virginia Ooh, oh, he's from another, Chesterfield that's good to have he's Chesterfield oh, and he you know he in. loves golf yes 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 he he's plays with huge, MJ probably he's a what, yeah, huge so golfer. he's a Jordan athlete so yeah. he was he said that when they make something he said they just they'll send it to all their athletes so. He said in his in his in his garage, it's just every single thing they make, they just send him a pair, and I'm sure he can get whatever he wants whenever that's he wants. So he's just dope. he's just that's the thing about NASCAR guys. The shoe game they're, you'd have, they're into that like nitty gritty. Like if you say like, well, when's there's like a Tesla yeah, gonna be run? Like that's just, disrespectful. It is because they're like tinkering. <laughs> that's a, that's a they're crap. like tinkering with like their yeah. cars and all that. Yeah, so, they're under yeah. the hood and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, like Elon Musk is not showing up to Daytona. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I I had no idea what to ask him because I don't right. know anything about NASCAR. Yeah. So I really Bob, had nothing. Bob thought it was a funny bit. And yeah, it was literally and like, it's it like you reached across the table and was like, that happens, your job's a joke. Bang. Yeah, that happens <laughs> rarely. But when like you, you, you say something like that and then you don't get that reaction yeah, that year and then tough. you're like, oh my bad. NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, tough. It, it definitely didn't play, but shout out, um, Denny Hamlin. We love what you do and, and we really appreciate what you do, but yeah. <laughs> great Keegan, to have him on a little, little Bob does sports episode now. Yeah. It? We'd have him on Bob does sports Bob for does, sure. Bob does racing. Yeah. By oh, the way, Bob um, does Daytona. We got a big follow today, which by the way, kind of, I mean, we were excited well, about yeah, it, but yeah. that's a, it's a, that's a big, big, a big follow. Yeah, right? yeah, Rick Shields it. follow came in and yeah. I mean, that would be, we've always talked about during a Euro trip. If we did a Euro trip with Rick Shields, yeah. um, I mean, if he's willing to have he's us. the OG. Yeah, he really he's, what, is. The Godfather. He's got that YouTube soothing man. voice too. He does. Like it's like he's British talking accent. to no one, but he's talking to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable how he does it. You yeah. said you want to go to Ireland, no? Ireland to, top to bottom golf is probably the best because i always thought scotland United was Kingdom. like the the place to go no, it's, i mean it's where saint andrews is but it's a it's a much smaller scotland's very small yeah and ireland's fairly large G golf was invented um, in scotland right in scotland correct yeah. james yeah, yeah. naismith yeah that's right that's right yeah yeah, yeah. 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 It was those. Can you imagine yeah. the content it was, uh, we'd it was have? Golf, golf in the triangle offense, I believe, is <laughs> what he. Can you imagine uh, he the content we have if we did either Scotland, Ireland, or any of those places with Perez in like an Irish pub or oh, wearing kilts in Scotland, still blowing the bagpipes? <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I'd rock a bagpipe. I'm not putting a kilt on. Those you, would be, you would have to rock a kilt. We'd all have to, yeah. for the love of the game. That'd be one of those trips where the camera would have to be. I almost think the the footage off the course would yeah. be better than oh, it'd the be course. Amazing. I mean, me totally out of my element. Perez dominating the place. The whole thing would be, I mean, that would be a riot. Are you a fish and chips guy? I think you Not would be. Really. I, I, I agree with that. I think yeah, I probably, I think, but yeah, no, I choice. would never. Yeah, I don't think I've ever I love gone. fish and chips. I worked at a fish and chips. Yeah, this time. is, yeah. they used to call Joe the Codfather. <laughs> the Codfather? Dead serious, this is great. Go ahead, Joe. I mean, it's amazing that nobody knows. That's, that's a great nickname. It's My really friends good. used to call me Codfather because I'd work there. I was working like three jobs at the time, and there's this little like original fish and chips restaurant right near my house. It's called Cockney Kings from Cockney. It's from, <laughs> okay, you know, you know, could you be a little bit more Cockney mature? Cockney Kings. Cockney is a, is, is a city. It's a place in England. This, this guy had his like family's original, like all the recipes and stuff, how they did the batter. It was the best. James James Smith. I'd go in there Tom and I'd, James, yeah. I'd sling the stuff they used to do Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, all you could eat fish and chips. All these old people would come in Good God. and I would be running back and forth for like $2 tips a table. It was terrible, but it was what it was. Put bread on the table back then. And um, I ate a lot of fish and chips. <laughs> the thing probably helped to my demise of my figure as well. For being I honest. believe I could see you do that. Cause the thing about you is like, <laughs> 
You're a hundred percent. So you were probably like Bread busting ass. Oh man, I was Bread slinging. The table. Yeah. I was like slinging. In a family of seven. Oh, like, yeah, I was like slinging kids. tables, dog. A kid like, from Willy Wonka. Uh, <laughs> both of his grandparents are in one bed facing each other. Uncle Joe, or was yeah, Grandpa, Uncle Joe. Joe. Grandpa, Grandpa Joe? Grandpa Joe. Who's a who's a who's a certified <laughs> piece of shit? Yeah. By, by the, the way, way, that guy was Uncle a piece Joe's of a piece Augustus of shit. Gloop was a real piece. No, of shit No, but Uncle Joe's a real piece of shit. It was Grandpa. He was in that bed. For fucking years, okay? Yeah. He's in that bed for years, didn't get a job, didn't do shit. Fucking Charlie comes home with a golden ticket, yeah. and then in fucking 20 minutes, the guy's dancing around the house, can't wait to go to the chocolate factory. Real bum. All that time guy, fraud. Uncle really, Joe. Fraud. Like a, Who are we playing with tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, Chase Kepka. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Chase Kepka tomorrow for two two matches. Okay. Back to back will be a lot of fun. And then, um, yeah, and then we have Grant. We have Grant coming Friday as well. And Micah. Um, and Micah, no? Grant and Micah coming Friday as well. That's um, going to be a I good think, video. Yeah, I, think. I think that'll end up being a lot of fun. Obviously, they're going through um, you know, a lot with that whole thing. But look, from our side, a lot of people have asked us too. Um, they've both been so good to us. I mean, it's like yeah. we're not taking any sides. I mean, Garrett's been awesome. I knew Garrett for a while. Um, Grant's been awesome to us. But... Um, the first time we met them in Dallas, they were both so welcoming and great, really yeah. kind of opened up. And by the way, between them and Foreplay, we're really a they huge, huge, huge yeah. entrance yeah. into the YouTube world. Yeah. Where I, I mean, like we were so blessed that we had you know Riggs and their their guys, and then having the whole Garrett opening up that whole world to us. It really gave us that exposure because this was pre Perez days, which to me is insane to think that there was a Bob to Sports without Fat Perez, but like. That helped get a, our foot in the door, and we really owe those guys a lot. It's going to be nice to see both of those guys and and connect. You met Micah. I, I met him. We met him at Memphis, yeah, but I didn't really get I, to watch I, him play or connect. I with him. also too, and I haven't you know talked to them about it, but I do feel for them. And they're, but they're both they're both such good guys, Micah, Micah as well, and they they really are. It's, it seems crazy because it's YouTube, but there's such a, a spotlight on them. There's so many fans that they have. They're so massive that yeah. Yeah. I'm sure both sides have their good reasons of why they want to do that. And it's like I don't think they um, now. It's like every move that like they make or like uh, you know it's, it comes yeah. with the territory. It, it, it does so come under the spotlight, too. dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean it, it's the it's the the other side of the awesome you know, thing that we get to do yes. for a living. So, you know, we get to do this for a living, be out there. Um, but also you lose a little, you know, everything you do is kind of out in the open. Cause I mean, like your average person that decides that after 10 years working at the same company, they want to switch yep. roles. No, no one, no one buries them in Facebook and Instagram, like comments. It's really no one's business. And, you know, I, I get it. People get invested in groups and they, you know, at the end of the day, they, they, there's such a reaction to it because people love the content yeah. and love these people together and they feel like they're losing something. So it's not, I don't think a lot of it's vindictive. It's just like loss. Mm-hmm. Like it's loss of like, wow, I really love seeing, you know, this whoever and whoever together making videos and I don't get to see that anymore. Yes. And that's really all it is. And you, like you said, I mean, I've met all of them and, you know, together apart, whatever it is, that they've all been great people to be around and to hang out with. So, like, I don't, we, we can't, you know, to, to not, like, we can't pick sides. Like, it doesn't, no. it's not our business to, it would be inappropriate for us to make a decision. Like, it would be, it would be, it would be disrespectful to either party for mm. us to take a side because we have nothing to do with it. We don't know what, what's going on. We like these people. Yeah. So like, you know, aside from saying we can't do anything with you guys until the like the, the smoke clears like that, there's no smoke. Like it, it's fine. Yeah, Everything's by the fine. way, too, no matter what, I mean, it's just the way that it is. Us like with filming with them, you kind of in a way you don't have a truth, but you kind of get brought into it. And the truth is exactly that. That it's just like we love both of them and you know, it is what it is. That's the way that it is. But the thing is with that that whole storm, like I'm pr- I'm sure they're probably you know feeling it and it's a lot for them that'll all subside um you know for for both sides with it but again they they've both been so good to us really that good. and i think we all had a mutual understanding which you know we've talked about before that we both know that whole group that a we all really everybody always gets along we go out to dinners with them and everything we both know how beneficial going on each other's channels are as well so like we're really helped same thing with barstool barstool was the same way 
there's room for so many people in the game. There's so many people that can come in that it, it makes all the sense we, in the world. We had a blast. With the, well, the first time we went um, with all of them, then we went to Dallas again, and I um, you, came you got with, sick. Yeah, COVID, yeah. We COVID. had a blast with all of them. Oh, and Jet was just at the like, nightclub. It was, just, Dom. it was just the best. It was the best. <laughs> all right, boys. Um, folks, again, uh, we got a good little momentum, by the way, going with the podcast. So make sure if you're watching, like, comment, subscribe, continue um, to join the boys here. We've been firing these things out. To We're going to start getting them out more. Yeah, yeah we yeah. took a little bit of a break. Um, I went down to Jupiter. We were a little scrambled. We don't want to do the Zoom thing because the Zoom, anything Zoom really yeah. kind of brings it down so i mean that's why it's important to subscribe and hit the notification button exactly because you know we don't we don't we're not on a consistent schedule so it'd be easy to miss uh, a podcast drop if if you're not getting notified and you're not subscribed so helps us helps you (laughs) by the way we got a newsletter you can subscribe to the newsletter it's the morning brew (laughs) oh wow I mean, yeah, that's not true. That's not real. <laughs> and, and it won't yeah. be real. Morning, Fat Fat is his, yeah. By the way, let's. Fat 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 I'm really thing. setting myself up his on that. We got to notify Jet is officially the Jet on Instagram. That is oh, yeah. true. That's a big, he got a big, big handle big. now. He did yeah. a Jet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did some wheeling, wheeling and I did some yeah, dealing. Several, <laughs> several DMs later. <laughs> You, you got the, the jet I, Insta handle. I I, I got That's the handle. Special. I just think it looks good and like it's good. It's good for the brand. It's good. It's it must think you feel good everybody. that he's embraced the name. Well, the funny I've thing about been the, embraced well, the name. Oh yeah, you <laughs> have. Point. But but at when I first started saying it, when I was first calling you the jet, you did not like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you. This was years because you used to call me the kid. And I like, I like, no, no, I like the that's kid. That's a dope name. Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah, Ken Griffey it's Jr. Ken Griffey, that, the kid. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. It's like he's the kid. So it's like the I like the kid. And then yeah. what happened was, is I guess kid. somebody, we yeah, used to make wow. videos and somebody made videos. <laughs> no, I, I made videos very fast and then it changed to the jet. And I was like, I only I had like, so much time with the kid. What, like, <laughs> what that's happened? Tough. That's so, tough. But as, over time, it grew on me. And then like, I guess somebody said to me, I guess you, I, I didn't know how to feel about it, but somebody was like, somebody, Knew I would that what they call me. He's like, oh, he's like, that's the coolest nickname of all time. It's an and I awesome was like, nickname. I was like, oh, you know what it is. It could be yeah. Cole Cuts. Especially Cole Cuts is a great. <laughs> yeah. Cole, Cole Cuts is a great. Yeah. That's a high level. That's a whole. That's, that's a high level. Cole, Cole, Cole Cuts is an all time. Yeah. 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 But the jet you is also, like, sleek yeah. nah, the jet is. And when you see it on Instagram, like, it's a little bit sexier than a pound of prosciutto. Guess what? It's better. It's better. It's better than fat. Yeah. Clip it. Yeah. Did you see? Oh. I was going to say about Perez. Is it crazy that people don't call you by your actual name or you or me. I mean, it's kind of weird, no? Yeah. That's I, mean, the you guys I think that's the life we Bob. live. People don't even know my name. People Robbie. call you Bob to sports. Now. I call you yeah, Bob. Yeah, I get called Bob to sports. <laughs> I, like I, call, I call you Bob. I call you yeah, Bob. Everybody yeah, everybody calls me Bob. Nobody calls me. Nobody even calls me Bob. I used to Robbie. call you Robbie for a long time. I think now I call you Bob. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say Perez, uh, speaking of the morning brew, like your own little publication. You're the king, <laughs> by the way. Perez is the king. There's this new channel that keeps popping up in my feed, which is like the top Fat 10 <laughs> like YouTube golf highlights of the week. This guy's owning it. Those right are now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's true. Wait till after this. And you know what? There's a couple more out. coming. That was funny. Yeah. Um, I made an E-Bombs World reference the other oh, day. Oh, you did. E-Bombs World. Yeah, E-Bombs World. We had a chick from... Uh, a chick from the high school I went to that ended up on an E Bombs World like parody music video. She was like the most famous person in high school for years. She's, Do you remember it was such um, an odd now it's thing? Fat Perez. Yeah. No, that's not where I was getting at there. I just <laughs> E Bombs World was it. Like, Do you remember uh, Jib Jab? Yes, I do remember that. was like that had a nice little two hour. Yeah, that was like the original put your face over. Am am I too old or did you guys have ICQ back in the day? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, Yeah. you're 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 fucking ancient. ICQ ICQ was like the first type of government uh, agency. No, it's like it was like the first type of instant messaging. And then it went to MSN (laughs) Messenger, which everyone had. It was like uh, the coolest thing ever. I didn't have that either. Sounds no. crazy. <laughs> it's, 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 so, it was a uh, ICQ a was uh, um, international Canadian. It's questions, not Canadian. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was like a government Canadian. agency. Yeah, it does. But no, if you guys are watching this in the comments, if anybody knows ICQ or MS, MSN Messenger, I can't believe you guys never knew msn messenger it was like was the AOL. hottest thing ever it was like everybody after high school would go on the computer and they would log in and you would see like all the people who would be online and you'd like hit up like the girl that you want i to talk think to i think maybe like, in canada it was msn in america it was aim aol 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 right yeah we had aol well okay, Amer- maybe america online would make sense it wouldn't be in canada yeah but i don't know if they had, you had an aol know. screen name right or just I never MSN. Had AOL. I've heard of it, but I think maybe Canada. Okay, had so it. his MSN references are AOL. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool. You could send emojis and like it was like 
before we go. What was your screen name? Oh boy. Oh god. I got this? Now we're going around the line. What's your screen name? Uh, my screen my email screen name was puckstopper eighty six at hotmail <laughs> Mine, mine was you? it was Binsters thirty eight. <laughs> Binsters, yeah, thirty eight. Like that's what people used to call Sounds me. Like dumpsters. I was, Thanks, uh, I was D Jeter N Y one four. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was yeah. Yeah. And he still yeah. is. And, yeah, it, what was you still find me there? Mine was, um, <laughs> mine was short four two six. Short yeah. four two six. I was very short, and that was my birthday. <laughs> still, still is, still is my birthday. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought it was four feet. Two inches and six centimeters. <laughs> no, because that four twenty six would be six two, and I ain't six two. Oh, all right, boy. boys, we're gonna head out. Damn good episode, as it always is. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, again, like, comment, subscribe to not just the YouTube, but Fat Perez's morning dump <laughs> newsletter. Morning, as well. bro, morning dump. Mor- that's actually pretty. That's what good. it is? Morning, that's actually mor- pretty. The morning fun. dump. God damn it! Morning that's dump. Good. Short morning dump. Fat <laughs> Perez. <laughs> Um, you got to do that now. I'm not doing that. Another edition, Bob Does Sports Podcast. We will see you next time. Thank you, folks. Clap it up. Clap it up.